My name is Ilya Solovyev and I work at the Beckman Institute at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And uh, one of the projects I'm uh, really interested in is uh, trying to understand the biophysical mechanism of the smell sense. In the nose of a human being or an animal, there are uh, thousands of different receptors which uh, detect small uh, molecules which cause the sense of smell. There are different types of uh, uh, olfactory receptors which are tuned uh, for, for different orders. And the mechanism, how uh, this biological function is triggered, is still not completely understood. And this is uh, what we are trying to do here at the Beckman Institute. There are two ideas uh, how uh, the sense of smell uh, works. So the first idea is a so-called uh, shape mechanism where um, the nose, all the receptor cavities have a little bit different shape. So uh, they could accommodate only very specific molecules. For example, if one talks about a ring-shaped molecule, it is unlikely to bind with a receptor which is supposed to detect linear-shaped molecules. So the shape is important to accommodate a specific odorant molecule in a particular receptor. But uh, it is still a question uh, what happens after this binding has occurred. So, and in this respect there is another theory. The other theory is a so-called vibrationally assisted mechanism of uh, smell. The way how it works, once an odorant molecule enters the receptor, it uh, triggers a quantum mechanical uh, process of electron transfer through the receptor. The idea is actually very simple. So imagine an olfactory receptor without an odorant molecule inside. It is believed that uh, the receptor has uh, two sites, a so-called donor site and an acceptor site. The donor site initially has an electron which tries hard to get to the acceptor site. So, and this transfer is uh, hardly possible without the presence of an external molecule because of the energetics of the receptor. So, but once an odorant molecule is bound with the receptor, it vibrates at certain characteristic frequencies and this vibration assists the electron tunneling from the donor to the acceptor. But even if the shape of two molecules is identical, uh, sometimes the constituent atoms uh, may be different. Uh, here you can see two uh, odorant uh, molecules and as you can see they have absolutely the same shape. But because the second uh, molecule shown here contains deuterium compared uh, to the hydrogen here, the vibrational frequency for this molecule is lower. So even if the shape of the molecules is the same, the chemical reactions would be different. So we believe that there is a complicated interaction of these two factors and uh, both of them uh, matter and are important for whole faction. An example of this was performed by a group of scientists in Greece where fruit flies were tested in the so-called tea maze. So a tea maze is nothing more than just a glass tube which is filled with fruit flies and at both ends of these glass tubes one can put um, two distinctly uh, different uh, odorants and fruit flies uh, choose one odorant in favor of the other one by spending more time in this uh, glass tube closer to the more preferential odorant. But as a next step, the scientists in Greece, they took one of the odorants out and they uh, have modified its chemical structure by replacing all hydrogen atoms with a heavier uh, deuterium. This modification doesn't uh, change the shape of the odorant molecules, but it definitely changes the vibrational frequencies because deuterium is heavier, so the molecules with deuterium vibrate at different frequency. And when they performed the experiment with the deuterated odorant and looked at the distribution of the fruit flies in this tea maze, they didn't see any preference in uh, either the deuterated odorant or the non-modified odorant from the first experiment. So this clearly demonstrates that vibrational frequencies uh, are somehow related to the smell sense, at least in fruit flies. The Greek paper it is an experimental paper, so it, uh, it shows a clear experiment, but it doesn't go into uh, the details of the mechanism. In our paper, we are really interested in understanding the mechanism behind this uh, sense. 
we consider the same uh, orderance as the scientists from Greece did, and then we have calculated the um, vibrational frequencies for, for these molecules and uh, demonstrated that uh, for a particular vibration mode uh, there is a very similar electron tunneling rate uh, through the olfactory receptor which we indirectly could link with the main conclusion of the Greek scientists. Uh, earlier papers that suggested this mechanism of vibrationally assisted olfaction, uh, they were uh, more focused on physical aspects of, of the problem. So what we try to do, we try to see how um, this mechanism can be realized in a real biological environment, biological system. So we uh, looked carefully at the, at the theory and uh, uh, tried to establish the, the range of um, biophysical parameters that uh, an, a receptor and also an odorant molecule should have in order for the mechanism to, to function. So this is definitely a new um, uh, step and uh, so I think probably this is the most important uh, achievement in our paper.